I'm going to tell you guys some Amazon tips that I have came up with. There's three of them. So without further ado, we're going to start with the first one. The first one that I highly recommend that you do when you are shopping on Amazon is to, with anything that you click on, First thing I would recommend that you do when you are shopping on Amazon is with any product that you look at, I recommend that you click on it and you like. That way you won't be like, oh, I can't remember what product this was. You'll like it and it'll go to your um, wish list, ad list, whatever it's called. It'll go to that. So first thing that you do is you look at products that you like and you just like them. Like just like them. Oh, I like this. Heart it, heart it, heart it. So you can keep a track of the products that you're looking at and you won't have to worry about forgetting which product it was that you were looking at. So the second tip that I have is to don't go for the first price. If you're looking for something on Amazon and let's say, okay, so let me give you an example. So I was looking for hair talkie powder. I believe some of these hair talkie powders were like twenty dollars. Some of them were like thirty. Yeah. And you know, me for one, if I'm paying for something that's like this, and they don't even fill the bag up. It's just not happening. I'm not paying no $20 for that. Okay? It's just not doing it. So I believe this was either, had to be at least 17 Cap. I might be capping. I don't know. Had to be at least 17 Cap. Or within like the less than $20 range. And I went searching for this to make sure that it was not overpriced. So yes, yeah, so I would recommend that you don't go for the first price, and this ties in with the first, um, the first tip into liking everything that you like, because once you like everything that you like, you can see that they all have different prices, and with those different prices, that will allow you to compare both of the ones that you like and determine which one you should get. You feel me? So say if you are searching for. Yeah, let's just use this example. Say you're searching for a type of um, type of hair talkie um, powder, and one of these brands they're selling it for ten dollars. Another one of these brands is selling it for twenty dollars. Then another one is selling it for fourteen. Another one is selling it for um, sixteen. You liked all of these, and now you have four options of which ones you're going to you're going to decide to choose. That's my my cat. He's literally eating his food in a can, and he just moves the can with him. So if you hear that, that's him. So um, yeah, you basically have four options to decide from, and you can choose which one's best depending on number three. Tip number three. You can decide which one you like by depending on the recent reviews. So step, or not step, but tip number three is look at the recent reviews. So whenever you buy anything on Amazon, you need to scroll down until you see reviews. If you didn't learn anything from this video, you need to know before you buy anything on Amazon, look at the reviews. I'm telling you, moment of silence and shout out to all the people who do reviews on Amazon. Because no lie, they be helping people like us out. Okay? We're first time buyers. They be helping us with their reviews, okay? They be helping us, okay? Not even gonna cap. <laughs> okay, so yes. You need to look at the recent reviews. So when you scroll down on Amazon and you see the review section, it's always going to be labeled at the top reviews. So in order to get it to go to recent reviews, you have to um, basically scroll on the um, the rating list 
or the, the number of stars and that will take you to like the percentage of people who star this and all that stuff then you scroll down and you'll see an option that says you can click on top reviews and you change it to recent reviews recent reviews I'm telling you you need to do it you need to do it you need to do it I'm not going to say that again you need to do it okay recent reviews will help you out so much because people who have purchased this um product that you want they'll have their feedback and that will allow you to decide if you want to get this product you can um click on this product and it's 14 dollars and someone will say it smells nothing like hair talky talking about this still the same example someone will say it tastes nothing like hair talky or they'll say it was a disaster the whole the whole continent had a hole in it something like that they'll say something like that or another review or another one will say it smells just like hair talky it makes me feel amazing they'll probably even tell you a story about their experience with it or they'll say um you know another positive review i would say you know it's a good place to buy from if they have at least if they have all positive view reviews with only like I say two or three negative reviews. If you go on a product and it has like five negative reviews and barely some positive reviews, you might not want to get that product because people are telling you that it's bad, so you might not want to get it. But I mean, if you want to be a daredevil and get it, and go ahead, go ahead, get it. I'm not going to stop you from getting it. Like, this is your money. <laughs> I'm just saying, in my opinion, I wouldn't get it. If I was you, but you know, you do what you want, okay? I'm not telling you what to do, okay? I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just giving you tips, okay? I'm just giving you tips, okay? So, yeah, that's basically all of my tips that I have when you're shopping on Amazon. Yeah, you should, when you're shopping on Amazon, you don't want to spend too much, and these three tips will help you out. So, if you have some more tips on on what to buy and how to buy effectively on Amazon I would say put it in the comments below for people to read and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah I'll see you in the next video peace love hair grease do you know them do you know them if you don't know them I think you need to get on them cuz you you kind of late bro you kind of late like what are you doing Okay, sis. Okay. See, I don't know how to end the video because I just like talking to you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. Peace, guys. See you later. See you in the next video. Okay. Period. No cappy.